that. So yes, what's up? Yeah, I know I switched maps because, I mean, the coronavirus is here. I don't want to get it, so I got this mask. I don't know why I switched maps, but I still did. Look at the coronavirus out there and this ninja mask is not going to protect me. So, Get out of here. Yeah. Okay, now. Okay, today we will be reading Space Adventures Mars Alien Attack. Oh, wait. Lego Space Adventures. Yep. I read that correct. Scanning duty is the worst, grumbled Gunner. He was staring at a large computer screen. Don't complain, replied, replied Jazz. At least you're not on cleanup duty this week. Hmm. Gunner and Jazz were part of a team of humans. Wait, part of a team of humans working on Mars. They had come to mine energy crystals. Hmm. Then aliens appeared on Mars. They wanted the crystals too. They attacked the humans. Lately, things have been quiet, but everyone knew the aliens could return at any time. Hey, what's that? Jazz asked. Gunner peered at the computer screen. It's a new pocket of crystal. Crystals, not crystals. Crystals is not a thing. Ugh. He said excitedly. He tapped some keys on the computer keyboard. They're almost 100% pure. Okay, that's the first picture. And the second picture. Oh, it's so light. Ooh. The crystals are located in Ars Canyon. That's miles from here, Gunner said. The crystals are as good as you say. You should check it out. Let's go, Gunner said. Gunner and Jazz zoomed across the Red Martin surface in their MX-81 fighter. Soon they had they had left the safety of the mining area far back. Deep canyons and rocky hills dotted the landscape. It was a dangerous place. Like this, Jazz said. There are too many places for aliens to hide. Don't worry, Gunner said. We won't be long. Jazz pointed to a dark hole in the Martin surface. There it is, he said. Gunner flew into the Kanyona, Kanyona, Kanyona. They approached the bo as they approached the bottom, Gunner said, There are the crystals. They landed and jumped out of the fighter. Jazz picked up a crystal. These are very pure. Pick 
Gunner eyed the steep canyon walls. He frowned. There's no way we'll get a mobile mining unit down here, he said. We'll have to mine the crystals by hand. The two miners climbed aboard the ship. Mission commander is going to be very happy to hear about this, Jazz said. Gunner fired the engines. And the MX-81 took off. <coughs> Suddenly, an alien spy ship appeared in the sky. A blast ripped through the air, barely missing the MX-81. Oh, no! Don't ask, let my mask fall off. You can't see my face. No, 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 no. My face has to be hidden. Gunner yelled, We've got to get out of here! Gunner roared past the alien ship. Jazz fired the laser cannons. The first shot missed. The second one caught the alien's ship. The alien ship's wing it exploded in a ball of red and yellow flames. Got it! Jazz yelled, Now get us back to base! When Gunner and Jazz returned to base, they went straight to the commander's office. Before they could say anything, the commander shut the office door. What do you what were you thinking? Going out so far on your own he said in a gruff voice. Jazz pulled a crystal out of his flight suit. The scanner picked up a cluster of cr crystals, he said. This is almost 100% pure, the commander said. How much is there? It's a good supply, but we have, but it's at the bottom of the canyon. We'll have to extract it by hand. The commander frowned. I don't want to risk another alien attack, he said. The aliens don't know about it. There was no sign of them in the canyon. The commander looked at the crystal, and then he looked at Gunner and Jess. You have to go out at night. The aliens are less likely to detect you in the dark, he said. We can do it tomorrow night, Jazz, Gunner said. Jazz nodded. Good, the commander said. You have two, men, two mining robots to help you. Gunner and Jazz couldn't wait to get started. The next day, the next day, <laughs> whatever, Gunner and Jazz loaded their fire fighter with equipment and supplies. Many mining robots were safely stowed aboard. At sunset, the two miners boarded the MX-81 and left base. When they arrived at Ars Canyon, they put the robots to work. Soon the canyon was humming with the sound of mining. Before they knew it, the sky above the canyon began to grow lighter. It was almost dawn. Only a few crystals remained. I can get the last ones, Gunner said. I'll get the equipment back to on fighter, Jazz re replied. Suddenly the ground began to shake. Rocks and boulders tumbled down the sides of the canyon. Marsquake! Jazz cried. What is a Marsquake? That's like an earth... Oh. <laughs> Earthquake, Mars quake, quake. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a, 
a huge boulder bounced across the canyon floor. It flattened one of the mini robots. Crunch! It hit the MX-81. Oh no, Gunner said, running to the plane. One of the laser canyons would was destroyed. At least we can fly out of here, Gunner said. Let's hope we don't run into any aliens, Jazz responded. Then, just as suddenly as it started, the Mars quake stopped. Wait, Gunner said, puzzled. I hear something. Slowly, they looked up. Hovering in the sky were three alien ships. Oh, no, not the aliens, Mom. Nobody likes aliens. The two miners stood completely still. They expected the ships to open fire, but they didn't. What are they waiting for, Garner whispered? It's still dark down here. I don't think they see us. Jazz replied. As soon as the sunlight reaches the bottom of the canyon, we're in trouble, Gunner said. We're more in trouble than that. We're down to one laser canyon, remember? Without warning, the three alien ships slowly rose into the air and disappeared. Quickly, Gunner and Jazz climbed aboard the fighter. The gunners, gunners started the engines. With a roar, they zoomed out of the canyon. Instantly, the, the air was filled with explosions. Gunners zigzagged between the alien ships, avoiding the gunfire. Jazz aimed the laser canyon and fired. An alien, ex, an alien ship exploded. Direct hit! Jazz cried. The MX-81 sped away. The two remaining alien ships turned and followed, their guns blazing. Gunner tried to outrun them, but the alien ships were faster than the MX-81. They zoomed closer. Gunner glanced at the scanner in the cockpit. cockpit. We've got another problem, he groaned. A huge wall, a huge wall of red dust towered in front of him. Dust storm! Wait, I've got an idea, Gunner said. He pointed at the MX-81 straight at the wall of red dust. He plunged the fighter into the storm. What are you doing, Jazz screamed. The dust will destroy the engine. engines. No, I can move fast enough, Jazz. I mean, Gunner said, and the aliens won't be able to see us in the storm. Gunner flew straight into the red cloud. The fighter rocketed up and zoomed down and around. The engine began to sputter and cough. What I'm reading, of course, now. He, uh, he decides to eat. My pet beard again. Uh, sorry about the disruption. Some things are really going wrong. My boy Frank over there is eating. He's eating dinner. Oh no, he's eating breakfast. And it's. I just had dinner and now he's eating breakfast. Holy moly. Okay, now in this lamp, it, uh, the light, it burnt out. Ah, whatever. Time to leave, Gunner said. He flew the fighter up and out of the storm. The sky was blue and clear. There were no alien ships anywhere. There's the base, Jazz said, pointing to the familiar Mission Command Center. Gunner gl glided the damaged fighter to the landing strip. 
They touched down just as the engines spit out clouds of dust and then died. Well, the engine not the dust. Just a little. The commander was there to greet them. He looked at the MX-81. It was covered with burns from laser fire. The mangled laser gun hung limply by a few bolts. The two miners were coated with red dust, but they were grinning. Mission accomplished, they said. Well done, the commander said. end. I didn't need that. Okay. I hope you enjoyed better. Okay. okay. Just so you know, you have to like and subscribe for very good luck for 1,000 years. Goodbye.